The Rum Ramsey Cocktail, a New Orleans drink from the Bon Ton Cafe. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. This recipe we're going to look at may or may not be the recipe for the Rum Ramsey. We're going to start off with one and a half ounces of rum. Or actually, that's, I mean, one and three quarters ounce of rum. They're going to follow that with a quarter of ounce of bourbon. It's interesting to add this small of amount of a spirit to a drink. Um, but a, a, a white rum is going to have one aspect of a nice, clean, crisp flavor to it, and the bourbon is going to add more of an aged, sweeter flavor to it. So I think what we'll end up seeing is something that's a little bit more well-rounded than just a white rum by itself would bring to the table. We're going to add a quarter ounce of lime juice. Again, it's not an awful lot. Um, it's just adding like a, a soup song of flavor to the drink. And I think this illustrates the fact of, of why it can be very important to make sure you measure your ingredients because we're adding a quarter ounce, which is a very small amount. Uh, and it can easily be over poured if you're pouring it in uh, free pour style. And then we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of sugar. Again, granulated sugar doesn't dissolve terribly well in spirits or in coldness uh, and so feel free to use a quarter of ounce or a quarter teaspoon of simple syrup if you'd like. Uh, this recipe called for a quarter ounce of sugar so I'm sticking to way the original recipe that I had <coughs> called for it. Now we're going to add a dash of Creole bitters. Now this is where the recipe concern comes in. Uh, supposedly the Rum Ramsey is a the house drink of the Bon Ton Cafe in New Orleans. And it is a secret recipe as far as they're concerned because they don't give it out to people. Uh, so this recipe was reverse engineered by someone and it's been passed on through various uh, recipe books and stuff. Some people have said it tastes more like what the Bon Ton Cafe has without the Peychaud's bitters or Creole bitters. Uh, it's kind of that New Orleans style flavor going in. Um, and maybe this bitters was added to it simply because it's from New Orleans. And so people who were doing the reverse engineer thought it was the right thing to do. Either way, we're going to add the bitters to it. Now we add the ice. We strained it into our cocktail glass. And the uh, lovely color here is coming from both the bourbon and the Creole bitters. More probably from the Creole bitters because it's a more intense color going on there. Bitters are very aromatic in many times. The, the flavors are concentrated and so they can come up and you can smell those specific flavors that a Creole bitters is having in it. So I'm getting that quite heavily. As well as the sweetness that's coming in from the bourbon and the rum. It is very much a rum forward drink because that obviously is the bulk of the ingredients and in there. Everything else is very small amounts. But the other ingredients are just kind of adding this little kick on the side of rounding out through the bourbon, a little sourness from the lime juice, and the, um, the sugar is adding a little sweetness to it as well. So I think the important thing here is make sure you're using a really good quality rum because that's the most important flavor that's happening. A delicious drink, the Rum Ramsey. Try it with or without the Creole bitters.